Today I'm going to show you how to create a form in LaunchCloud that can pull and push data from a base CRM. So starting from our dashboard, let's go to the left hand navigation and go down to edit forms. We're going to click on the turquoise plus button at the top left to create a new form and I'm going to call this form lead. I'm going to pop it into my sales project and I'm going to save the form. This is going to load up our canvas for our new form and what we're interested in right now is this toolbox. So you can see text input and at the bottom what we need is data search. So I'm going to pull one of those into our form and I'm going to let go. As soon as I let go of it, it's going to actually bring up this pop-up that we need automatically, which is to calibrate what database is behind the search. So a search needs some kind of power behind it. For this example, we're going to be using the base CRM. So I'm going to click the little settings icon on base and we've got a few options here. Now it's the contact type that we want to map back to and that is leads. So I'm not going to change that, but you could have people or you could have companies. Do we want to update the record on base? Yes, I do. So if the number, their telephone number has changed or their email has changed, I want the operator of the form to be able to edit that in base. Then what kind of things would I like to attach inside base? Now, this is where it gets really cool. We're going to flick that on. We can actually put a copy of the form into our base and we can have a CSV file, we can have an Excel file. But what's interesting, I'm going to take a few of these off because I only want a PDF and an image. So any images I take in this will also copy in there. And I'm going to press link. So what's happened is it's pulled in all of the fields from a lead. Some of these aren't very useful to me right now. So I'm going to remove them by hovering and deleting. So I'm just going to go through a few of these and get rid of them. I'm going to leave first name, last name, email. And we can play with these, we can style these a little bit so we can grab them and we can put them alongside each other. And you can sort of make it a bit tidier like that. And I'm also going to take and put an image somewhere in here as well, put it at the bottom. I just need to label that little guy. Label that as image. Now all this other stuff is going to be pre-labeled for you because we know what that is. And I'm going to save this form. So to complete this example, I want to show you what it actually looks like to fill one of these forms in. So what I'm going to do is take a step back onto all of my forms and I'm going to make sure lead is switched to on. And I'm now going to go and flip to our form app, which is where you can capture forms within a browser. I'm going to find the account, which is Launchfield Marketing and our sales project. And there's our lead form right here. Let's click on that. Now I know there's a lead in here called Matt. Doyle or Matthew Doyle. Oh, and there he is. Matt Doyle or Matthew Doyle, and he's from Matt's Big Fish. And I'm going to click on that, and as I click it, it's taking data from base, and you can see there's some information there. Up here in my tab, I have base already open, and I can see this lead here. And you can see that I've got the mobile number is 9999 and the work is 000. And what I'm going to do is add some ones to into this, and I'll add some ones to into this, and I'm also going to add a picture. I've got a nice picture here and I'm going to send form. So click send form. That lead or that form is now submitted and we can go and see how this actually affects base. So I already had this lead open and I'm just going to refresh the page. And you can see the ones that have been added there and the ones that have been added there. And then you can remember when I set this up, I wanted an image and a PDF. So we can see our PDF here and this is how the form looked when it was submitted. There's a little pro, uh, preview of our image and some other information. Then I'm going to close this off. And I also said I just wanted to pull in an image as well. So our image is there standalone as well. So that is it. That is how you create a form with two-way data into base.